Hi, I'm Will, and here are some things I hoped wouldn't happen in my life. My father would leave my mother. I'm so sad. I'd be taken out of private education and forced to go to a normal school. Well, this is nice. Where the school nutter would then take a bit of a dislike to me. I ripped the fucking throat out. But they do say, whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger, except polio. And it's not been all bad. I'm gonna take you outside and I want you to fuck me. Really? This is the story of how I made new friends. Like him. Friends! Fucking friends! And him. And him. <laughs> him not so much. And definitely her. Just to confirm, we are gonna have sex. But back to the present. To put you in the picture, I've no friends, it's my first day, and I'm in the headmaster's office for a welcome chat with the rest of the new kids. Or, as they're otherwise known, the freaks. You could be friends with us. Yep. Everyone's gonna think I'm one of them. And in a well-meaning but disastrous move, as a new kid, I've got to wear a massive green badge. At least I could discuss it with my head of sixth, Mr Gilbert. He seemed like an intelligent man. Mr Gilbert, you seem an intelligent man. Oh, I seem intelligent. How lovely of you to say. No, I, I just meant... I mean, it. I've long since been insecure about my capacity for learning, so it's nice to have it ratified by you, a child. What I meant was, do you really think these badges that single us out as new kids are a good idea? Yes. If you have any more views on it, I suggest you join the School Debating Society. Obviously, you'll have to start one first. Oh, my mistake. He's a wanker. Hello, John. I'm Susie. And so began my first day. <laughs> Is this 6B? Yeah. Great. I'm Will. Ooh. Garda decided to meet with a head and his pet ape, Gilbert. What's his problem? What? That Gilbert. What a tosser. I mean, ooh, I'm Mr Gilbert. I'm such a big, huge, massive freak. And I just love to suck the headmaster's balls. And then... Is he behind me? Did you hear any of that? Oh, yes. Can we start again? As you can see from his rather natty badge, this is your new classmate, Will. Oh, As you Will share most of the same classes, Cooper, you'll be looking after him. Sir, that's not fair! Oh, Lesson sorry. number one of the sixth form. Life is not fair. <laughs> Sir! Look at his blazer, for yeah. starters. He's got an actual briefcase. Yes. His shoes are clumpy, well. his hair's a bit gay. Ooh. And that badge. Mm -hmm. I mean, the badge alone. Mm. It's happening. Get used to it. Oh, one more thing. The first day of term, drink down the black horse. This tradition is not only ridiculous, but illegal. Don't get excluded before you've even started. What's he talking about? Uh, nothing. Is everyone going for a drink tonight, then? Um, no. I have to go this way. Ooh, I'm Will. Yep, thanks very much. Oh, hello, Will. Yes, <laughs> very nice, thank you. Nice badge, Dickhead. Lovely, fantastic. You must be, what, year eight? Ooh, I'm Will. Well, I've got the Spacca badge. Spacca? Super, that's not even on the badge, so... Briefcase wanker. It's a baggage-themed insult. Thanks, Mum. Thanks a bunch. <laughs> Truth be told, the first day nerves had got to me, so I went for what turned out to be one of the more eventful shits of my life. I'm just really good at shagging now. That's all I'm saying. Bollocks. Well, how do you do it best, then? Just... Deep. Try to get really deep, right up to the balls. And do you put the balls in? What? I've heard you've got to put the balls in, really, to make it work. Yeah, can do. Some girls like it, some don't. What? Stop talking bullshit. Who are these girls you fuck, then? Look, while you've spent the summer stalking Carly, I've been out porking loads of veg. One, I've not been stalking Carly, she's just a friend. And two, you've never fucked anyone. Nor have I, nor's Neil. Shut up, you dickhead. I've fucked loads of girls. What the fuck are you doing? You trying to look at my cock? <laughs> Good one. Fuck off! I was beginning to wonder what sort of place I'd come to. And then I found out. <laughs>
You're gonna die here, Will. Okay. That briefcase makes me want to punch you. Of course it does. What a spastic bag. That's been pointed out already. Your shoes are well shit. Yep, the shoes. Simon! <laughs> All right, how's it going? What, since about five minutes ago? Yeah. Fine. Great. I'm trying to find the common room. Can you show me where it is? Um, not really. Oh. Posh twat. Oh, look. It's this way, but do me a favour and just hang back a bit, yeah? Oh, sure. Wanker. I still haven't managed to shake the freaks. It's not like I was aiming high. I just wanted to be friends with someone who didn't have a badge on. Might not go to this thing tonight. Pretty knackered. We've just had ten weeks off. Yeah, but he's just spent the last ten weeks wanking three times a day. That's why he's knackered. Yeah, that's it. I've had 210 wanks and my cock's like a pepperami. <laughs> Whose cock's like what? Carly! Oh, it's just, um, nothing. Are you coming to the pub tonight, then? I'll be there. Great! That's great. Are you going, Simon? Um, not sure. Sort of more into clubs than pubs. Yeah, gay clubs. He's just shitting himself that he won't get served. <laughs> no, it's not that. Come on, I'll buy you a drink. Can you do me a favour, though? Sure, anything. OK, well, you know what my mum's like. She'll freak if she hasn't been anywhere near a pub, so don't mention it to your folks, yeah? Sure. Thanks, hon. Oh, do you want to aftershave now? Oh, it's just links. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, that's nice. You come to sociology? Um, no, I'm, I'm good here. Oh, OK. Well, I'll see you later, then. Are you mental? She's so fit. Why don't you just walk to class with her? I just don't feel like it. Oh, what's wrong? Did you get hard on? Because the pretty girl spoke to you. Can you fuck <laughs> off? Hang on, you haven't actually got a stalk on, have you? Oh, my God, he's got a boner. Jay, please. Oh, yeah. Simon's got a boner! <laughs> boner! Oh, <God>. oh, <laughs> no, let's have a look. Boner! Oh, don't be shocked. Come on, let's have a look. Show us. Show us your boner. So I was left with a choice. Stick with the freaks, or try to make friends with the boy they now called Boner. Are you coming to sociology, Simon? Oh, I'll save you a seat. Thanks. Well, there you go. I suppose beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> and so my quest to make friends went not worse, but certainly not better. It was as if I had some kind of contagious disease, and to be seen with me was a form of social death. Which it is, but I was amazed they worked it out so quickly. But it wouldn't stop me. <laughs> Anyone can be your friend. You just need to hang around them long enough. Oh, don't look left, Simon. There's a girl with a knee-length skirt on. You might just spunk in your pants. Yeah, very good. Hi, Simon. All right. This is Will. Nice to meet you. Oh, briefcase. <laughs> yeah, briefcase. Yes, it's a briefcase. Oh, briefcase! Right. These are your friends? Where are we meeting tonight, then? The Black Ball. It's just out on the London Road. Oh, is this the drink thing? Great. What time? You can get there whatever time you like. You're going on your own. Oh, I just thought we could all... Nah, you thought wrong. Shit, what happens if we don't get served? Carly would think I'm such a loser. She'd be right. She might not get served. Girls always get served. As soon as they get tits, they get served. And fit girls like her definitely always get served. Well, I'm gonna get served. And how do you know that? I've got a fake ID, innit? A driving licence that says I'm 18 years old. But you're not 18. Yeah, that's right, Neil. It's a fake ID. Oh, no. Is that your mum? I told her not to come and pick me up. She's fit. Yeah, I'd fuck her. Thanks very much. No, but I would, though. Wouldn't you? Hmm. Well, if she's my mum, no. But if she wasn't? She is, though, so... No, but what he's saying is, if she wasn't your mum, would you fuck her? Oh, are we still doing this? So you would fuck her? No. Look, I just want to know, if you get down between her legs, spread them... Can we please stop talking about my mother's vagina? <laughs> Maybe see you tonight. You're not invited. Unless you bring your mum. <laughs> Did you have to pin me up? I just wanted to hear about your first day. I like your badge. Why did you tell them I got bullied at Lauriston? I thought you were. No, I wasn't. I got wedged a couple of times, but that was just a fag. Oh, well, they wanted a reason, and that's what sprang to mind. Instead of, I can't afford the school fees anymore. Yes. I'm going to the pub tonight. With who? Just some friends. Friends? Already? Yes, friends already. Well, just make sure these so-called friends aren't just making fun of you. Why would they be doing that? I just don't want you to get bullied again. I was not bullied! Can I borrow 20 quid? 
For all the new sick formers, this would be a massive night. It wasn't just the drink. This was an opportunity to reinvent yourself, a chance for a new start. And I've told you money's tight. Do you want me to be called Pikey by my mates? Do you? Jay, I've got your dinner. Don't come in. Don't come in. All right, I won't come in. Mum, can I borrow 20 quid? Here's ten pounds. Just promise me you won't spend it on the fruit machines. I can't do that, I'm afraid. Bye. Of course, it turned out we couldn't reinvent ourselves without our parents noticing. There's a lot of gel you've got in your hair. What? Smells quite strongly, too. Why are you telling this to me now? I'm just mentioning it. I can see you've got a lot in, that's all. What? I don't... I mean, I can't wash it now, can I? I've not got time. God, I don't know why you are like this sometimes. Can I borrow 20 quid? And by borrow, we meant spend and never give back. Next stop, the pub. My plan to make friends was working. Little by little, I was wearing them down. Hey, guys. Not him. Oh, he's all right. Sorry, I'm late. Finger in your mum? Let me think. Um, no, no, I wasn't. Right, so what's the plan? We don't need a plan. We go in there, buy some drinks, and then wait for the gash to form an orderly queue. Sorry, did he actually say gash? It will be fine. Relax. There is nothing relaxing about this. If we don't get served, I will be humiliated in front of the girl I've lusted after since she was eight. You fancy eight-year-olds? No, Neil. Our families are friends. We were both eight. Yeah, but you still fancied an eight-year-old. Come on, I've got ID. We'll be fine. You coming in, new boy? I do have a name. Sorry, you coming then? Briefcase Mong. Brilliant. After you. Well, this is nice. Maybe we should come back later. Don't shit yourself. We're just a hardcore. I'll get him in. What are you having? Pint of lager. Pint. Doesn't a pint seem like a lot when you think about it? I mean, you wouldn't drink pint after pint of orange squash, would you? What do you want? Pint of... Guinness. Guinness? Oh, brilliant, a fruity. Oi, bruv. Yes, bruv. Three pints of lager and a pint of Guinness. Any ID? Yeah. Brett Clement. Yep. And you know this is an Australian driving licence? Yep. So you're Australian? That's right, mate. So when's your birthday? 15th of bloody May 1989. Is he speaking in an Australian accent? Sounds like it. Right. What do you want again? Three jars of lager and a Guinness. Are the other drinks for your mates? You betcha, cobber. Well, I'm not serving them unless I got ID as well. Where are our drinks? Oh, did you want drinks too? Well, you'd better go and fucking get them, then. This is tragic. One pint between four of us. As Jay has clearly failed, I will deal with this. I'd never been served in a pub before, but how hard could it be? Good evening. Could I have three pints, please? Do you have any proof of age? You have my word. Any ID? Look, my father's left my mother and I've been forced to go to a comprehensive school. I've attached myself to a... Fairly average group, and all I'm trying to do is make a few new friends to make life bearable. You're human, you understand that. Now, perhaps you can pour me three non alcoholic lagers and we won't tell anyone about it. Can't serve you at all if you're underage. Right. You've driven me to this. The law states 16 year olds can legally drink cider, perry, or mead in a pub if they're eating a meal. So I have three pints of cider and three carvery dinners, please. It also states if it is bought by an adult and they are accompanied by an adult. No adult, no alcohol, I'm afraid. This isn't over. Hello, sir. My name's William. I'll pay for your drinks all night if you'll just order me three pints of cider and three carvery dinners and then come and sit with my friends and me. You don't have to talk to us. You merely need to stay sitting with us. You all right? Cherry, I'll have three ciders, three carveries and four double rum and cokes, please, mate. As many as four. Sorted. Yeah. Who's that? Oh, this is... What's your name? Steve. Steve. He'll be joining us. Why? Hi, right, Steve. Where are our drinks? It's a long story that involves Steve as well. Now, before we get our cider... Cider? Yes, cider. We've got to go to the carvery. Have you gone mental? What's Carly going to think? Yeah, Simon's pretty cool. Whenever he goes out, he always has meat and gravy with his booze. Well, we're not going to get served unless we each get a carvery. Nice work, briefcase. Oh, for Christ's sake. 
You coming then, Neil? I'll get mine for me. All right. Yep. I just lost ten quid on a fruity. Oh, really? Yeah. from Carly. Oh, brilliant. She asking if your fit mate Jay's coming. No, she's saying it's so packed she can't see where we are. Is she a retard? She's in the Black Horse. Where are we? Blackpool. Right, so we're in the wrong pub. Let's go. Well, let's not be hasty. We've got three car frees on the way. Neil, how could you confuse the Black Bull with a Black Horse? Oh, come on. I was half right. <laughs> Bona. 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 Bona! Bona! Good start. Bona! Bona! I'm going to find Carly. Bona! Who's around? New boys. Again? Yep. Aww. Simon! Simon! Hi! Where have you been? Come and sit down. Hi. Don't be shy. Squeeze up. Oh, really? Yeah. Tom's just coming back with the drinks. Cool. Tom, this is Simon I was telling you about. You all right, mate? Yeah, a bit pissed. Been to the Black Bull first, just to sharpen up. Wow, this is a new Simon. I remember you used to cry when your dad pulled whiskey over the Christmas pudding. Yeah, at least it didn't make myself sick in my plate when it had peas on it. Thanks for bringing that up. <laughs> oh. Lee Sharp. 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 Four pints, please. ID, please. You have got to be kidding me. Can't serve you that ID. Do you do food? Kitchen's closed. I'll just take the four pints, then. I'll just see your ID, then. Look, I've spent all night trying to buy one drink so I can take part in this poxy school tradition. So I'd like four pints of lager, please. ID, please. We should get going, Carl. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You're going already? We've been here for two hours. Sure. Do you want a lift back, Simon? Tom's got a car. Of course he has. Nah. Come on, Carl. See you, mate. See you later, Simon. Bye, man. Bye. See ya. Lee Sharp. Lee Sharp. It's Lee Sharp. Definitely Lee Sharp. Lee Sharp. Lee Sharp. Oh, Dixie. Four pints of lager. ID. Look! What? Just look around you. Everyone in this bloody pub is underage. Shut up! He's underage. She's underage. He looks a bit older because he's uglier, but he's in the year below even me. Look at that bum fluff. 16. That bra's got padding in it. 16. His mum still buys his trousers. 16. 16. At a push, 17. 16. And this one, Mark Donovan. Yeah, he looks old and he's meant to be hard, but he's still only 16. All these people you've served, whatever bloody ID they used, are under age. Right, we're closed. Everyone out. Oh, oh, you lot are all bad. Nice to see you again, Mackenzie. And congratulations on doing my job for me. I'll make sure you get another badge for this. Sir. Now, get out. I want to have a pint. Pint of lager, please, Ian. I don't care how fit your mum is. I wouldn't be seen dead in the car with you. You come here, sir. Uh, nah. I said I'd look after Supergrass here. I better not leave him on his own, just in case. Why are you staying with that bellend? I am here. Yeah, I wish you weren't. See you later, then. What a first day. I'm such a twat. Yes, you are. That was pretty specialist back there. His mum still buys his trousers was a personal highlight. Thanks. I made that up. Who was that guy with Carly? A friend who didn't need ID and had a car. I'm oh, sorry, mate. Nah, it's OK. Please don't hit me. No, I'm not going to hit you here. But I will get you. 
You won't know when it's coming, but it's coming. At some point in the next year, I will get you. Is that your mum? She is fit. Thanks. Lovely to meet you, Mrs. Mackenzie. I will see you later, Will, yeah? Nice to meet you. He seems nice. He's the school psycho who just threatened to kill me. Oh, I'm glad you're making friends. Do mums ever listen? I'd had an eventful first day. My quest for friends had led to me alienating the entire school and the psychotic head of sixth form. And the really good news is, I'm now on the school nutters to stab list. If he doesn't shag my mum first, maybe I should have just stuck with the freaks. At least things can only get better. Well, they could just stay the same. Or get worse. Don't look back into the sun Now you know that the time has come And they said it would never come for you Oh, oh, oh. oh my friends, you haven't changed You're looking rough and living strange And I know you've got a taste for it